Whee! This is fun! Whee! <laughs> My word, this room is a mess. Go play outside, then after dinner, you two will need to clean your room. Sorry, Mummy, we'll clean it up later. Come on, George. Mummy Pig is making dinner when she hears something outside. Well, who could that be? I'm back! Look, Daddy Pig is home. And he brought something with him. <sighs> oh my, Daddy Pig has brought home a big screen TV. Daddy Pig, where did you get that? It was on sale at the supermarket. Excuse me, it's quite heavy. My word, you made a mess. Oh, sorry, Mummy Pig. I'll clean that up in a minute. <laughs> oh dear, another accident. Daddy Pig, can you quit breaking things and help me clean up the kitchen? In just a minute. I need to clean up this broken lamp. Oh my, it's quite broken. We don't have room for such a big TV. Our house is too small. You will have to return it. Aww. Now let me call the kids in for dinner. Peppa, George, it's time to eat. Mummy, mummy, look what we found outside. <coughs> Meow. Can we keep her? Oh no, we don't have room for a pet kitty. <coughs> <coughs> I guess I'll just have to return the TV. I'm sorry, but we just don't have room for all these things. Wait, guys, I have a surprise that just might help you guys out. Check it out. It's a gigantic Peppa Pig house. And it is huge. It's over 22 inches tall. And it has one, two, three, four different levels. With one, two bedrooms. With a cool home office with a computer and a ladder that goes straight up into the attic. With a telescope and real opening roof for stargazing. And a working lamp and a muddy puddle for jumping up and down in. And it comes with three figures. Peppa with her fairy godmother shirt. George with his monkey shirt. And Zoe Zebra, who could come by when we're done setting everything up. Wow, look at that bathroom. And this lovely kitchen. Does this mean I get to keep my big screen TV? And our new kitty cat? I suppose so. Yay! Yay! Wow, that's such great news. Let's take it out of the box and put it all together. Wow, good job, guys. So let's go inside and start setting it up. Follow me. All right, let's turn the light on here. Cool, it really works. And the first thing we'll add is a big purple sofa. Now let's check out the kitchen. First, we'll add this white refrigerator. I think it'll look good over here in the corner. Let's open it up and see what kind of food's inside. Wow, look at all those goodies. Let's add some of our own. How about some yummy donuts? I bet Daddy Pig will love these. We'll save these for later. Next up is a dining room table. We'll put this on the opposite side of the kitchen from the refrigerator. And now we have one chair and two chairs. Now we're up in Mummy and Daddy's room. They're gonna need a bed. Did you know that Mummy and Daddy didn't even have a bedroom in their old house? They're gonna love this. And here's a beautiful vanity. It'll give their bedroom some character. Now it's time for George and Peppa's room. They'll have a bed as well, but this is a bunk bed. The bottom bunk has a dinosaur blanket for George. And the top bunk has a polka dot blanket for Peppa. Isn't that really cool? Wow, it looks great. And now in the bathroom, we'll add this bathtub. Sploosh, splash, sploosh. And here's our toilet that really opens and closes. I'll set it right over here. And for our home office, we have a computer for doing homework and watching YouTube videos. We'll need an office chair as well. Look, it really swivels. Let's slide it under the computer desk. And what could this be? It's a telescope for gazing at things that are far, far away, like stars, planets, and moons. And let's not forget Daddy's big screen TV, complete with fishbowl and real working switch. Hey, that's cool. I think this should go in the living room. If Daddy Pig's gonna get a new appliance, Mummy Pig should too. So how about this new oven that really lights up? I bet she'll love that. Let's put it in the kitchen. Wow guys, check it out. The house looks pretty awesome, but we're not done yet. 
Before we invite everyone to come look at the house, I've got a few more things to make it look complete. First, they're gonna need food and water bowls for their new pet kitty. And how about these beautiful flowers for Mummy and Daddy's vanity? Flowers love sunlight, so let's push them over to the window. Wow, look, the sunlight's nourishing the flowers. Hooray! Let's add some things for Peppa and George's room, like this guitar for playing music. And this adorable ladder to help them climb up the bed. Don't you love it? Now it's time to work in the attic. And here's a globe shaped like the planet Earth. That's the planet that we live on. And here's some beautiful cactuses for the family to nurture and take care of. But don't touch them because they are prickly. Let's add some things for outside. Oh, this will be fun. It's a swimming pool. Let's place it right over here. And here's a pretty surfboard. Surfing takes a lot of practice, but it's tons of fun. Daddy Pig will love this. It's a barbecue grill for cooking outside. Now our giant new house for Peppa and her family is complete. Check out how awesome it looks. Now it's time to invite the Peppa family to come on over. Wow, that's certainly a big house. Let's go inside and check it out. It's amazing in here. Come on in. Don't forget Kitty, guys. I think Kitty is hungry. Oh, what a good girl. She must have been really hungry. Hey, look, a muddy puddle. <laughs> now look at yourselves. You two go take a bath. Yes, Mummy Pig. Let's add some bubbles. Whee! Getting clean is fun. I think it's high time I tried my new big screen TV. I'm going to go check out the kitchen. It's Genevieve's Playhouse. <laughs> wow, my favorite show. Oh, look, some cactuses. <laughs> Thank you, Kitty. You sure are a good helper. I think Kitty wants to take a nap in Peppa and George's room. All right, now let's check back with Mummy Pig. Oh, it looks like she's gonna put some donuts in the oven. <laughs> now that they're clean and out of the bath, Peppa and George should try on their new clothes. Yippee! <laughs> Peppa, George, Daddy Pig, snack time. Did you hear that? Let's go. What's all this talk about snacks? That was delicious, Mummy. Now can we go play? Go have fun. Aw, George wants to pet Kitty. And look, he's gonna play the guitar. Peppa wants to play in the home office. Wow, a computer! Night in the city, and a brave band of warriors are having a slumber party? Hello! Can I come in and play? Sure, come on in! Wow, what a nice house! Thanks, Zoe! Want to go upstairs and paint a picture? Sure, let's go! <laughs> First, we'll need some blue. Now, time for some red. And now for yellow! What a great picture! Peppa, what's up there? Oh, that's the attic. Want to play in the attic? Sure!
your turn. Neato! Look, a globe! And a telescope! Let's check it out! Whoa! I can see outer space! There's the planet Jupiter with the big red spot! And there's Saturn with its rings! Now I can see the moon! There's a rocket ship landing on it! It's Grandpa Pig! What? Let me see! It is! And he's jumping up and down! Kids, it's getting late! We just saw Grandpa Pig on the moon! And he was jumping really high! That's nice, kids. It's still time for bed. See you later, Zoe. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Night. It's great to finally have a bed all to ourselves. Yes, but where has Kitty gone? Kitty! Uh, now that we got some sleep, it's a good day for some barbecue. And to swim! No, Kitty, don't! Oh, my! I just got back from the moon! I didn't miss anything, did I? <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are going for a swim in their pool. Come on, George, you can do it. Too scared. George, just pretend you're a dinosaur. George loves dinosaurs. Dinosaur! Great splash there, George. Mommy, Daddy, watch me. All right, George, make way for your big sister. Whee! <coughs> Mommy, Daddy, I've run into George. It's quite all right, George. Here, play with your dinosaur. Dinosaur! Mommy, Daddy, I didn't mean to run into George, but our pool is too small. Can we have a larger one? Peppa, if you want a larger one, we can just swim in the community pool. Meanwhile, at the community pool... Look out below! <coughs> Heads up, children! The community pool is too crowded. And besides, Rebecca's dad is getting her a new pool. What? He is? Hold on. Daddy Pig, where are you going? Don't worry, I'll be back in a jiff. I wonder where he's going in such a hurry. I'm back! Wow! Daddy Pig, what is this? It's our new pool, of course! I couldn't let the rabbits have a better pool than ours, now could I? New pool! New pool! Daddy Pig, can we afford this? Of course not! But I'm an expert at speaking with salesmen, and I convinced them to let us pay for it over the next 30 years! Oh my! Yay! Let's play with it! But how are we going to put it together? It looks rather complicated. Oh, right. I haven't quite figured that part out yet. Don't worry, guys. We can help you put it together. And when we're done, you guys can play with it. Yay, that sounds great. Fantacular. All right, great. Let's get started building the pool by checking out what's inside the box. Wow, it looks like we have a lot of building to do. And this big piece here looks like the base of the pool. I think we should start with that. But this white piece will come into play later. All right, now let's set the base of the pool right here. And then we can start adding our supports. We'll need two small ones and two big ones. And then let's snap them together like this. One and two. And to make them even stronger, we'll brace them with these green pieces. That one's done. Now for the second one. These green braces are going to make the support so much stronger that they can hold even more weight. Kind of like how your feet help your legs hold your body up. Now this V-shape we made is going to fit right into these holes on the platform. And the same thing for this one. Now let's add two attachments that will help them support the second level of the pool. Now let's add a few more pieces with movie magic. Do 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 do. 
And now we're on to the second floor with that rectangle from earlier. I knew it'd come in handy. With our second floor in place, we can add our yellow slide. And it actually looks really fun. I'd love to go on a slide like this. And I'm sure Peppa and George will enjoy it too. So let's get it set up for them. And we'll add our red ladder to the side here so they can climb up. How about we plant a tree? We'll start with this soil. Then add the trunk of a palm tree. Then we can add these coconuts. I'm not really sure why they're red, because in real life, they're green when they're on a tree. At least they got the color of these palm fronds right. Let's add them to our tree to fill it out some. One more set, and I think our tree will be looking great. Alright, terrific! Then let's add this connecting peg to the center of our pool. And on that, we can add this octopus that needs a face. Ah, here it is! Looking much better now, so let's slide it on. This square piece here will be the support for our third level. But I think we should add some railing for safety on our second level. One more long piece here and we should be good. Our little third floor is going to be a square shape. And it has a sign that says no floaties. This one's for kids who can swim only. What do you think these two pieces are for? I'll give you a hint, they're not candy canes. I'll add these yellow pieces here and then see if you can guess. All right, one more. Now, what do you think it is? It's a ladder that'll take our friends up to the third floor. Now check out this slide. It looks like they slide up then back down into the pool. Let's snap it at the top and at the bottom. Now for our last set of supports for our top level. We'll need one more post right here. And now we're ready for the wheel for our pulley. Then we'll add our rope with a hook on it. Now we can attach our inflatable raft to the hook. This is what our pool goers will ride on for the top slide. So let's raise it up to the top. This little red roof here goes on top of our posts. Let's make sure we line it up. There we go. And now for the final touch for our pool. An emergency attachment for a life preserver just in case someone needs help. All right, we finished building our pool. But there's still one more thing left. Can you guess what it is? Water! You're right, let's add it to the pool. All right, let's top it off so our swimmers can have some splashing fun. Hey guys, come check out the pool. Wow! I want to go on the yellow slide. Climbing this ladder isn't so hard. Hey George, watch me go. Splash me, Peppa. Oh, you want to see a real splash, do you? Mm. Ah! Be careful, Daddy Pig. You splashed me. Oh. Daddy Pig, do remain calm. I'll save you, Daddy. Oh, thank you. You're a real lifesaver. If you just stay calm, you'd float on your own. Well, if you're such an expert, how about you hop in the pool and show us what you got? Just you watch. Mummy Pig, what are you doing? I'm going to the top slide. But that's too high. Nonsense. I was the star swimmer on my school swimming team. I never knew that. Well, you never asked. All right, kids, let me show you how it's done. Yahoo! Yahoo! Wow, Mummy, that looks so fun. It was. Here, you try it. Oh, no, Mummy, that ride is much too scary for a kid like me. Hee <laughs> hee, slide! Do, do, do. George, what are you doing? Boat, 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 boat. It seems George needs the boat for the big slide. Don't worry, George. I'm coming. 
All right, here comes your raft. Yay, thanks, Daddy. Yay, this is gonna be fun. But you're afraid of heights, and the big slide is too scary for you. It's not scary. Watch. <laughs> Wonderful slide there, George. If it's not too scary for little kids like George, then it's not too scary for me. I'm going to give it a try. I'm ready for the raft, Daddy. One raft coming up. Thank you, Daddy. All right, I'm about ready to go. Whee! That was so much fun. I just wish my friends had seen me being so brave. We saw you, Peppa. It looks so fun. Can we swim too? Yay, my friends are here. Pool party. Wow, guys. Now that Peppa's friends are here, I think we should add some Orbeez for extra pool fun. And let's give them a little stir with our octopus friend. Watch this, Rebecca. Woo! Yay! Fun! Luco! How about we go down the slide together? Good thinking, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, Granddad Dog, are you here to swim in the pool? Nope, just here to collect the first payment. Ah, uh, here we are. Ta-ta! I'll be back next month! Oh, drat. Well, at least the kids are enjoying the pool. Pinch, pinch, pinch! Ah! Pinch, pinch, George pinch. is pinching us! Hee <laughs> hee! Pinch lobster! Yep, I'd say the new pool is a big splash. Thanks for watching the video, kids! And if you liked it, be sure to leave a thumbs up! Bye! Catch you next time! <laughs> Who would have thought a baby crib would be so heavy? Mummy, why are we redecorating your office? Because we have very special guests today. Baby Alexander is coming for a visit. My baby cousin Baby Alexander is coming? Yay! Oh, I think they're at the door now. Hello! Oh, come on in. Greetings, everyone. Baby Alexander! Wampy! Well, hello there, children. That's right, children. Baby Alexander is going to spend the day with you while Daddy Pig and I go shopping. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. George and I will watch Baby Alexander while you're away. <coughs> oh no, children. Only grown-ups can watch a baby. I'll stay here to look after him. Mummy, George is a child. I'm five years old. I'm a grown-up. I'll look after Baby Alexander. Oh, Peppa, you're still a child. Watching a baby is a lot of work. That's why Grandpa Pig has to stay here and watch him. Do I really have to go shopping? Well, you could stay here and help Grandpa Pig stay and watch Baby Alexander. Uh, I'll get the keys. See you later, kids. Have fun with Baby Alexander and be good for Grandpa Pig. Bye, Mommy and Daddy. All right, let's roll. Grandpa Pig, can we help you take care of Baby Alexander? Oh my, yes, Peppa. Thank you for asking. Come inside and we can look after him together. Now we just put him in the stroller. Piece of cake. If that's all you have to do, taking care of a baby is easy. Oh no, Baby Alexander is broken. Fix him, Grandpa Pig. Alexander isn't broken. He's probably just tired and wants to hear a lullaby. Go to sleep. Little baby, and don't let the bed bugs bite. It worked, Grandpa Pig. You fixed him. Baby Alexander is asleep. Grandpa? 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 Hush, George, you'll wake the baby. Oh, look what you did. You woke up Baby Alexander. Uh-oh. Don't worry, George. Grandpa Pig is very old and needs his sleep. We'll take care of Baby Alexander ourselves. I'll just sing a song and Baby Alexander will go right back to sleep. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Oh, but it's not working. Food? Of course, George. It's so obvious. I was about to say that. Baby Alexander is just hungry. Let's take him to the kitchen. Ugh, he's quite heavy. No one told me a baby would be so heavy. Come on, George. 
Now let's see what he'll eat. How about a nice delicious apple? <laughs> How rude! I guess babies don't eat apples. Ooh, I knew. Delicious pizza. George, don't be silly. Babies don't eat pizza. But I know what everyone loves. Here you go, Alexander. A cookie. Blech. But everyone loves cookies. What do babies eat? Milk. George, that's it. You're a genius. Babies drink milk. Here you go. Yay, we made baby Alexander happy. We're good babysitters after all. Oh dear, baby Alexander has to go to the bathroom. Oh no, what do we do? Potty, potty. George, are you sure this will work? Yep. Okay, potty. George, baby Alexander can't use the potty like a big boy. He's a baby. He has a diaper. Diaper? Yes, and since I'm the oldest, I'll show you how to do it. This is how you change a diaper. There. Done. <laughs> now that baby Alexander is fed and changed, he's ready to play. Come on, George, let's show him our toys. Here it is, our bedroom. Go ahead, George, show him your favorite toy. Dinosaur! <laughs> Baby Alexander likes the dinosaur. <laughs> but he doesn't like the loud noise it makes. George, babies don't like scary noises. They like happy noises, like this radio. <laughs> Yay, baby Alexander likes music. But this song is for babies. Let's listen to something I like. Oh, he doesn't like it. Well, if baby Alexander doesn't like good music, maybe we should just go outside to play. Here you are, baby Alexander. This is called the outside. We have a slide, a ball pit, and a swing. Which do you want to play on? <laughs> Wonderful choice, and I'll take the slide. Wee! Everyone is having such fun. Yum, 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 yum. Oh dear, baby Alexandra thinks the balls are candy. Oh no, baby Alexandra. You can't eat those. Look, walk it. It's George's favorite outside toy. Oh. Oh my, the rocket ship has stuck to the roof. Uh-oh. George, I'm afraid the outside has too many sad things for a baby. Let's take baby Alexander inside and show him how to paint. Don't worry, baby Alexander. You'll love painting. George, can you fetch the canvas? Okay. Thank you, George. Now we're all ready. Now use gentle strokes to the canvas. Would you like to try, baby Alexander? Baby Alexander? Baby Alexander is missing. George, where did he go? Look, there's footprints. Let's follow them and maybe we can find baby Alexander. Look, George, the footprints lead to mommy and daddy's room. Baby Alexander! <laughs> baby Alexander has made a mess. George, we have to give baby Alexander a bath right away. In the bath you go. Baby Alexander loves baths. Now for your bubbles. <laughs> Andy loves bubbles too. Oh dear, there are too many bubbles. Oopsie. 
Baby Alexander is all clean. Time to get out now. Baby Alexander wasn't ready to get out of the bath. Here you go, Wubba Ducky. <laughs> Baby Alexander loves the rubber ducky. <laughs> A lot. That's quite annoying. How about you put the rubber ducky down, Baby Alexander? <laughs> Don't worry, you can ride on a rocking horse. Upsy daisy. <laughs> George, I think he's asleep. Maybe we should take him to his crib. Sleep tight, baby Alexander. Uh, what's wrong? Maybe he just needs a little soothing music. Yay, it worked! Baby Alexander's asleep. Hello there, we're home. Oh, hello. Grandpa Pig, I hope you didn't have any trouble watching Baby Alexander. Oh no, it was quite easy. No problems at all. Good, good. Um, where is he? Oh, well, um... He's upstairs taking a nap. Mummy, watching a baby is very hard. Oh yes, Peppa. That's why we had Grandpa Pig here to do all the work. Really? It was no trouble at all. Mummy, George and I are afraid that Baby Alexander doesn't like us. He cries all the time. Peppa, when babies cry, it doesn't mean they don't like you. Babies cry for lots of reasons. Oh, there he goes now. Let's go check on him and I'll show you. Okay, Mummy. Baby Alexander, are you done with your nap? See, Mummy, he cries all the time. Peppa, George. <laughs> Baby Alexander's first words. Yay, he likes us after all. Taking care of a baby is easy. Today is George Pig's birthday. Mommy and Daddy Pig are decorating for the party. There, that looks good. And meanwhile, Peppa is throwing George a tea party. Now that you're older, you can drink tea like a big kid. Here you go, George. Isn't the tea delicious? George, manners please. Now tell me, what do you want for your birthday? Dinosaur! George, you talk about dinosaurs too much. Quack! Dinosaur! See, even Polly Pellet agrees. And one final touch, the cake. Kids, you can come down for the party. Oh, George, did you hear that? Let's go get dressed for your party. Come on. Let's see what to wear. Nope, too frilly. Perfect, your turn, George. No, those are your pajamas. A Halloween costume? Now that's just silly. Quack! Too silly! Now that's more like it. Now let's go downstairs for your party. Birthday party! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! Let me light the candle. Dinosaur! That's right. We made a dinosaur cake. Your favorite. Now blow out the candle. <gasps> Now let's eat up so we can open your presents. Delicious! Now time for the presents. You have a yellow present, a purple one, a red one, and a green present. Wow, George, you have four presents. Inside George's first present is a bicycle. Yay, bicycle! In George's second present is a rocking horse. Yay! And inside George's third present is a little red wagon. Rainbow wagon. If George doesn't get a dinosaur in his last present, he'll be very disappointed. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And inside George's last present Woo! is a big dinosaur. George loves playing with his new presents. There's still one last present. Huh? There is. What is it? We're going someplace very special and far away. Pack your bags and meet me in the car. <gasps> An adventure? Let's go, George. Is everyone packed and ready? Yes, but how far away is it? Very far away. We're going to the airport and we'll fly there in an airplane. Wow. But is an airplane scary? No, no, not at all. They're the safest way to travel, even safer than a car. But first we must go to the airport. Now get in. I can't wait to get there. 
Don't drive too fast. All right. This will be fun. Now let's go to the airport. Are we there yet? Patience, Pepper. Oh, here we are. Hi there, Pepper. If you guys would like to ride on the plane, just park your car and hop aboard. Righto. All right, now follow me to the plane. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Take a look inside. We have one, two, three seats. But there are four of us. There's not enough room for us to sit. Oh my, that is a problem. No, no, not at all. I could sit up there. Daddy Pig, that's where the pilot sits for flying the plane. But I played a few flight simulators in college. How hard could it be? All right, suit yourself. George, since it's your birthday, you can get on first. <laughs> you can go second, Mummy. All right. Now it's my turn to go on third. And now time for the expert pilot to sit in the cockpit. Daddy, where are we going? You'll have to wait to get there to see. It's a surprise. I'll put your luggage in the back. All right, everything's secure. Prepare for takeoff. Let's see, what does this button do? Oops! Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yes, yes, there's just more buttons than I remember. Let me try this one. Ah, oh, here we go. Prepare for takeoff. Whoa! Can you fly straight? I'm trying, Peppa. It's harder than it looks. We're almost there. Yo! Ah, oh, I see it. Oh, wow! We're coming in for a landing. There, perfect flight. I'm quite dizzy. We'll be taking a taxi home. Yay, fair! That's right, George. And we have all day to play. Are you sure we should have parked the plane right here? Oh, it's fine. I'm sure everyone does it all the time. George, since it's your birthday, what would you like to do first? Mmm, dinosaur. Peekaboo. Look, George, it's your friend, Richard Rabbit. Yes, I imagine there'll be many friends here at the fair. How about you kids take turns? Whee! Your turn, George. Wee! <laughs> Dinosaur! I like swinging on the swing. Peppa, look up here. Watch. It's your friends, Pedro Pony and Candy Cat. My friends are here. I want to play with them. Woohoo! Meow! Who wants to play on the seesaw with me? I will. I'm coming down. Wee! So fun! All aboard the train for the fairgrounds. Grandpa Pig! Grampy! I hear it's someone's birthday today. Hop aboard and I'll give you a tour. Okay, Grandpa. Hee <laughs> hee, train! Enjoy the train ride, children. We'll walk over here and meet you. Walk? Yes, you need the exercise. Aww. All aboard! <coughs> here we are, children, at the main fairground. Wow, can we get off here? Of course, children. Have fun. 
I'm off to the next stop. Ta-ta! Look, George, a merry-go-round. Which one would you like to ride? Green dinosaur. Of course, I should have guessed. I think I'll ride the red horse. Come on, Susie, there's two of us in three seats. How about you ride with us? Okay, Peppa, I'll ride the yellow duck. Whee! Yay, I love it! Come on, Daddy Pig, what's taking so long? Uh, uh, uh. Walking can be so difficult. Peppa, now that your family is here, would you like to see my magic mirror booth? Sure, Susie, show us where it is. Here's my magic mirror. Let me see. Hmm, it makes me look really silly. But it's not really magic, is it? Sure it is, watch! Abracazam! Susie, what did you do? Hehehehe, <laughs> funny! Susie, you turned me back this instant. Abracazam! Thank you, but I don't like magic very much at all. Candy, candy, get your snacks and candy. Mr. Potato! D did you say candy? Yes, would you and your family like some? I have red strawberry, pink peach, orange orange, green melon, and blue blueberry, and lollipops of many different shapes. What would you like to try? I would like red, pink, and green, and a lollipop shaped like a heart. And what would you like, little boy? Blue, orange, and star. All right, here we go. Let's see, three pieces for the boy, four pieces for the girl, three plus four is seven, that'll be seven dollars. Seven dollars for candy? Don't worry, all the money goes to a good cause. And look, Daddy, I have two dollars that I can use to help pay for it. Let's see, seven minus one is six, seven minus two is five. I need five more dollars. Here we are, five dollars. Plus my two dollars equals seven dollars. Very good. Enjoy your candy, children. Thank you, Mr. Potato. You're very welcome. See you later. What would you children like to do now? Let's go on the Ferris wheel. Yay. <laughs> oh, it looks like we'll have to wait. Come over here, Peppa. I'll paint your face while you wait. Oh, good idea. Thanks, Rebecca. What would you like me to paint? I can paint elephants, lions, and lots of other animals. Hmm, how about a tiger? All right, hold still. There, what do you think? I love it, thank you. Peppa, hurry or you'll miss the ride. Coming, Mommy. Rawr! George, I hope you had a wonderful day. It's just our way of saying... Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Best birthday ever!